All right, welcome back. This is part three in our Ready Player Me VR IKE uh, tutorial series. And let's just jump right into it. Um, at the end of part two, I said that we would be doing our arms next. And the way we're doing that is with a two bone IK constraint. I'm just gonna create an empty and I'm just going to call this um, left arm. And right here on the left arm, I'm going to add a two bone IK constraint component. So here I need a lot of different things. I need to have a root. So if we look at the left shoulder here, the left arm is going to be our root. And then the next thing, our forearm is going to be our mid. And then, um, whoops, then our next thing is going to be our hand. So two bone IK constraint. What is our two bones? We have our forearm and we have our upper arm. So the joints we picked is the, the left arm joint, the left arm forearm, and then we have our hand. I guess it's, 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 it's three bones. It's called a two bone IK constraint, but I guess it's kind of like right wrist it's using the forearm it's using the upper arm upper arm now you can see we need some source objects so um i lost my thingy there it is so right here i'm gonna right click on the left arm i'm gonna create an empty and i'm gonna call this left target and i'm gonna duplicate it f2 left hint all right so i'm gonna go to the left arm drag that into the target and then drag the left hint into it. all right so my target is going to be where the hand is so I'm going to control click on the left hand. So I had left target already selected, control clicked on the left hand. And as we did in the previous episode, snap in the head, I'm going to go to animation rigging and align position. And so now my target is now right. here. All right, so now let's let's put an effector on it. Um, let's do, uh, uh, I really do like the ball effector, um, but we could separate them to keep things separate. So maybe we'll do boxes. And then let's change my color, keep it separate from the head. And here's my color wheel. I don't know, let's make it. All right, so that's where that is. Now, one thing you'll end up doing with your, your targets is you'll end up rotating them based on um, basically how the bones are oriented. In um, Cause spoiler alert, we're gonna be using the controllers to control the hands. And um, when you first set it up, for me, when I first set it up, I think it's dead on, if I remember right. But when I have my headset on, it doesn't feel right because I'm pulling my hands up and I want it to look like my hands are out in front of me. Um, but the controllers are actually partially rotated. So if you actually take the headset partially off and you look at your hands, um, I think when we first set this up, it's like perfectly lined up. And a lot of games I've played in VR just keeps it that way. But for me, I kind of offset it just a little bit because it just seems more immersive to me. Even though technically in the real world my hands are pointed a little bit down in the game even though my hands are pointed a little bit down in the game i want to see my hands zipping up because i'm holding my controllers straight so i'm thinking about my controllers i'm not actually thinking about where my fingers are but that's not here there here nor there just yet our hint we want to align with our elbow so i'm going to control click left forearm animation rigging and then align position all right so there's my left hint and let's just go ahead and we'll make that have a green um, box effector. Jump into my other screen. Saw me do it. So we're just gonna do that. And then what we want to do with this guy is we want to um, just pop him back here. All right. So this is basically telling what the elbow where to bend. All right. And you may find raising it higher or lower is useful. Um, rotating it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't do anything. Um, but just keeping it behind your elbow so um, it knows where to move you. Um, it's, I, I think it works out better when you actually have a T-posed avatar, but it seems to work fine with an A. This one is here. All right. Um, so that's fine. So now we're going to do the same thing. Um, but for the right arm, I think I can duplicate this without the rig getting upset. So we're just going to do right arm. And then this is going to be right target down arrow F2 right hint. Go back to the right arm, and this is going to be right arm, right forearm, and then right hand, and right target, right hand's already there. Cool. All right, so um, if we hit play now, let's see what happens. All right, let's hit play. It broke something? Um, because uh, I think I did. It did not like what I did with something in the hierarchy. Cause now this rig, this is, you can't see it behind me, um, but it's having this transform stream handle cannot be resolved. 
and that error happens. Notice my player is not animating anymore. Um, and that happens whenever you uh, do something that the rig doesn't like, which might have been me just duplicating the. Uh, so let's see if I delete right arm, if I still have the issue. You can see in the game window, I mean, my headset's still moving, but my player is not animating. I might have to redo the whole rig, so let's find out. All right, so all I had to do was delete um, left arm two. Um, and let's see if I can do just the left arm now and see if it works. I will pause while I do that. Okay, so update. Um, it is pretty mad at me. I don't know why. Um, so I was able to create the left arm again. I had to delete the left arm. I added the two bone IK constraint. I added the bones. So far, it's happy. I'm going to see what happens once I actually add the source objects. All right, so it broke whenever I added a child to the left arm. This is really weird because um, in my uh, other project where I'm doing this, um, my targets and hints are children of my two bone icane constraint game object. Um, but in my other project, I actually did these before my hips constraints. Um, so animation rigging is a little bit buggy still, um, but I'm going to figure this out and let you know what you can do. Um, if you run into this issue. Okay. I think I discovered the issue. It's the name. All right. You cannot call it left arm because that's the name of the bone. So we got to call it left arm, something else, two bone IK. I'm just going to call it left arm, two bone IK. And I bet if I hit play now, this transform stream handle that's behind my back here will disappear. Oh man, that solves, that answers so many questions I've had about this in the past. All right, so I'm going to pause and get those added back. All right, so far so good. Um, so now I have the right arm. I duplicated the left arm. Um, so I might, I could use the, the line, but I think I can just highlight both of these. Well, no, let's just highlight the target and let's just get rid of on the X axis to that minus sign. Boom. And then on this one, um, get rid of that minus sign. Boom. And I'm not sure why the boxes aren't on there. Add the box effectors. Let's make them. Boom. All right. So hopefully now this works. I've scoured the forums and I'd seen so many people where Unity's animation rigging would just break and nobody ever mentioned uh, the, the naming being an issue. <laughs> so this is something that we just discovered live. I've been doing this for a long time. All right, so if I grab this right arm target, okay, look, I can move this arm, all right? It bends the elbow when I move the hand up, okay? And I can do the same thing on the other side. I can move forward, we move it here all right we can go up and then then look it's bending bending the elbow for us that back seat all right pretty cool right and it's still running all of its animations um we're just using these uh and look i can still turn my head um so it's still doing it all for us pretty cool right so now all we need to do is we want to be able to control it with our controllers so we need to go to our target and um i'm so glad that i opened my other project because while I'm recording, my brain's just not working. I'm just gonna see what I'm doing on my target. We're gonna do a multi-parent constraint. All right, so I'm gonna come over here to my left arm target and I'm gonna do a multi-parent. And the object we are constraining is this target itself. And the source object is going to be our left hand controller. So I'm just gonna click on this. Uh, I really should set this other screen as my screen. Left uh, hand controller. Held something wrong. Left hand. Oh, there's a space. There we go. Left hand controller. All right. So we have the transform there. You may find, depending on how you have your rig set up, that you might need, might need an offset. I don't need an offset with mine. I found that an offset wasn't necessary. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and save us some time. I found that with my left arm, I needed to rotate the target 45 on the X. And then I also liked it minus 45 on Y. So now if we go to my right arm target and uh, target, and then add the component multi-parent constraint again, or constraint itself. And our source object is going to be uh, the right hand controller, right? You can't see this, that's fine. You know what I'm doing, it's on right hand controller. 
offset will be fine. And then um, it's pretty confusing because you think by changing these rotations, you would need it to maintain the offset, but no. Um, so sometimes that gets a bit confusing. But 45, 45, 45. You can see my boxes are now rotated a little bit. Um, and this just, and if you see, they're kind of rotated with the orientation of the hand. So you could potentially try um, whenever, instead of doing what I did, where I clicked on the target in the hand and I went animation rigging the line position, you can try to align the transform. And let's just see what that happens. Let's just see what happens when I do that with the right hand. I completely align the transform. It's not gonna be right. You can see it completely changed the rotation to something completely different. So I'm just going to undo that, undo that, undo that. But sometimes just aligning the transform just makes it work perfectly. And um, now, if I play this and I use my controllers, all right, we hit play and down here somewhere. Okay, and zoom out, see what's going on. All right, here we have my controllers and hold my hands straight out. Something ain't right. I probably just need to reset. There's my hand straight out. I can't see because I still have to. You can see down in my game window down there that uh, I got to make my head to where I don't see it. There we go. Hand straight out. And um, something's still not right. I don't know how that happened. Um, I copied my rotations exactly from my other project. Um, but in um, your project, again, it's going to depend on what you like. But my hands shouldn't be straight out like this. Um, but you can see I am controlling my hands. It's all about just getting those target rotations correctly. I'm gonna look at my other project here. Um, I'm not maintaining the offset. And control the right target. Although, what my bones? Ah, okay, so here's where we do it. So we don't maintain the offsets on the targets. We maintain the offsets position and rotation on the actual two bone IK construct. So if I come up here, position and rotation and play, comes back up go now i put my hands out look at that that's much more realistic um it will uh so you can see it in the game window you come up here and we're just going to take my head and let's take teeth face wear my glass I'm just gonna remove it <laughs> let's buy my eyes and let's just remove those skin mesh renderers and then maximize what's it look like in the headset um oh i can still see my head set view again all right but um there you can see hands looks good all right now my helmet's kind of getting in the way but you can get that that feels good that feels good all right so we're going to stop it here um my baby just woke up <laughs> so um this is a shorter uh a shorter one but we're going to do next time is um, I know we haven't really done loading the avatar yet. We haven't done any multiplayer stuff. That's all planned in the series. The next thing that's really important is if you're standing up and playing your game and you turn around in the real world, what's going to happen is uh, your hands and arms are going to get jacked um, because we can't really, unlike the rotation constraints, where we can tell don't go that far, don't go that far, we could set rotation constraints on like every single arm joint. Um, but still in the real world, what would happen is if you stand up and you turn, it's just gonna get jacked. So what we have to do now is we have to come up with a clever animation to where whenever we move past a certain point that our lower half of our body moves with us because we don't have any constraints on our legs. But we need to have our legs and everything below our hips rotate. We rotate in the otherwise your hand going through your body and jacked and be ugly and look like something from the exorcist so um we'll do that in the next episode and then after that episode we're going to start getting into how do you actually get your players to load their avatar in all right so don't forget to like comment subscribe tell your friends and check out the description for good links and we'll see you next time